Well, hello everyone. Now, some of you may recognise the game, some of you may not know what game I'm playing. I am currently playing Elder Scrolls Online. Hopefully go do a little bit of a walkthrough for it, or just a little playthrough. Uh, I've got multiple characters, so I might be jumping to which characters I feel like. This guy's going to start from the beginning. This is Iron Claw. I think it's Iron Claw. Oh, look. Where can I find my name? Character screen? There we go. Iron Crusher, sorry. Oh, that was close. I, couldn't, I made them last night, I couldn't remember what I called them. So, Iron Crusher. He's an orc, Dark Knight. And, uh, yeah, I think. I'm not going to be trying to show you builds or anything like that. But we will look in playing PvP in a later stage and sort of all about it, you know. I'm playing with the keyboard, so. Uh, this is the PC version. Whoa there. Are you alright? Yes. The name's Lyris. Hello, I'm Iron Crusher. Perhaps you should be Iron Crusher. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Uh yeah, oh, don't leave me. Oh wait, open gate. <laughs> All dead. Right. So as I say, I've got this. Um, I've got multiple characters. I've played it before. I know what I'm doing. Loot everything. Now I'm gonna have auto loot on. See on the bottom right there. It shows me what I'm looting. Well, that's actually an add-on. So you can get add-ons for the game. You can put things there, and it sort of doesn't not a cheat it allows you to see what you've collected so what you can do is in settings go to gameplay auto loot if you may have seen there there was also auto loot for stealing stuff that is turned off for me so it means when I go up to something to loot this one's not dead So when I auto loot, sure, I don't have to click on it saying yes, I'll take it all. I really like this sword. Still, at least I've got a weapon now. Stamina bar, health bar, you'll see in a minute. It'll be red, like hers is. Daedra on the way. Shift. Ooh. <laughs> Let's keep moving. I'm moving. It's empty. I do. I always seem to run around to grab anything because you do find quite a lot of useful Let's stuff, go. even in the beginning zone. Now this is the bit where it shows Let's you the tutorial. So it's Let's keep moving. Sounds big behind there. Does sound very big. Come on then. I'm holding shift around. Look. No, 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 no. Where is he? There he is. So, yeah, this little blue shy is to show you the buttons I should be pressing. Interrupt. Nice charge. He's dead. Let's get out of here, my friend. Okay, my friend. Prophet. See, all loot just so much easier. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me. I loot everything. And what you don't want, sell. You. Sorry, Hold I'm talking. Come here. No. We need to talk. No, you come here. In fact, I'll go over here. Oh, there's empty. Oops. Oh, look at that. Is that a green bow? Let me have a look. It's not a bow, so. So, so far, I've picked nothing of use. 
I can sell that for one gold. And that's pretty much fishing. Sell for much for gold and they're five. So yeah, there you go. Already you've got to get a bit of cash just for selling crap. Right, let's see what he wants. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Help you do what? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Hmm. It most certainly These is. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Towers of Eyes. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I've no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. Who is the Prophet? He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. Not met many. Future. Is he a wizard? You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. But it's not warm. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. That's a good. Who killed me? A man named Menemarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. <sighs> they sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. What? After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. No, no. I'm Iron Crusher. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under um. the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Okay. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. No. But we're prisoners here, same as you. So you were killed by them normally, or were you physically brought here? It won't be easy. It. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Okay. We so should keep moving. Let's go find these floaty eyes and blow them up. Ooh, hello. Should we save them? Ooh. How nice. Hello. Despite the senses tinkling. <laughs> He's a big armor guy. As I say, didn't seem to interest in me. Oh, what was that? Is that like a fire whip? Well played, friend. Arcade's beard, you are good in a fight. I be good in a fight. The god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! The god of brutality. Brutality? Brutality. Okay, so this is the um, sort of leveling up tree. You know most games have them. So whether you want to focus on health, stamina, magic, or sort of depends on what skills you really want to be fighting on for some there's no point putting it all in health if you want to have a lot of stamina base still. So this is a mana cost. You can see there it says cost underneath range, mana. Oh, it doesn't say mana, but it's mana. It's a uh, 450, so you know, if I want to use it, it's going to be using more of my mana up. Which means I really probably should put a point in that. Um, what do I want to use? You create change the gravel point and you to do the plane damage. Oh okay, so that's like um 
like a uh, yeah, like a chain that you pulled towards <laughs> people. Spiky armor. It's always good to get at least one point in like one of each so these end up leveling up. Once they're on your hot bar they level up like your hot bar down here. I mean it doesn't we'll take that for now. It's not gonna define me because later in the game you can reset all your points and build your skill how you want it. So uh, it, it doesn't define me who I am. I can select and open any weapon I want just by using them. So if I want to be a bow wielding orc, I just need to get a, a bow, start using it, and that'll start unlocking it and I can put my points in. Same for armor, it doesn't matter really what armor. Racial is just, you know, it's to me the only. Crafting, same, it doesn't matter which you want to do. Put a point in like almost one, just to level them up. It's worth knowing that your bank is also account bound. So it's, if you have four characters, every character can access your own bank. Now where's my skill? Which button did I put it on? Forgotten. Is it one? There. Okay, so one. Loot everything. Because, hey, let's put my sword away. You know what? I just realised she left me. How rude. Ooh. Hello. The god of schemes can see every part of Cold Harbor. We need to distract him. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will also be blinded for a time. Okay, let's go. So I've got M for map. There's two points that I need to go to. One's across the river, one's just around the corner. I don't think it matters which one I destroy, so... What I would recommend is if you're starting out in this area, don't leave the area until you're at least level 3, maybe 4. Because you can find some good loot here. Play this out. Over here. What was your name again? Target practice. The oh, sentinels are connected. If we can... get over here. <laughs> oh, I like that. So, as I say, loot everything because. It's handy. I'm not 100% keen. I like that get over here skill. They're not looting stuff. I don't know why they're not looting. Okay. So, guy there, Khajiit. Nice. Where's the baddie? There. Viva Revolution, my friend. I love it. Many people fighting. Because <laughs> I can quite clearly hear people. Some more, you skeeving hawkers. So rude. Lock him ready. The more you use your skills, you know, the more they upgrade. That's always good to use them as much as you can. Um. Home. Home. You there! Uh, 
But you can see my manico keeps coming up. That's because when I use my uh very loud. Very loud. After I've done my recording, if it turns out this first one's been too loud, I will sort out the volume in there as much as I can. Or as much as I can be bothered. I did see a baddie, but I think that guy's coming out. I want a different weapon, I really do. Oh, I've got some armor. Let's have a wear that. And that. These old gloves, I'm just going to throw away because I'm already worth zero. I've got the wrong way up there. And so it's that circle and that over there then. Yeah, that's no fun. That's all. Hello? Row, 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 row. Row. Row, row. Ooh. Row, row. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, uh, people are killing the bosses before, well not the bosses, the enemy before I get them. I want to move as much as I can. Because you never know what you're going to find to be honest. I'm getting a lot of food ingredients. Ah, look, there's a chest right there. That's it. So I've got a, a gold necklace sort of thing and an iron mace. You can see the bottom right. Oh my god, that's so loud. Okay, um, infantry. So. Oh look, it increases max health by 88. Let's have that one. I'm getting attacked. Don't know. Potatoes. I got some potatoes. What are they making? Bit of iron or something. Oh, flame sword. Ah. Look, I don't think that whip thing's much good to be honest with the older. Uh, one handed, but it does speed me up a little bit. It's not really long range either. Still, you never know, it might improve. I might take one. I burn to it or something. Who knows? Oh my god, I was trying to loot, but there's nothing there to loot, so it will to talk to her. Okay. But you see what I'm doing? I'm sort of just killing the bit, upgrading myself a little bit. Not so much with amazing gear. If there were three of you. But, you know, I've got, they're really easy to take, and you're getting a fair bit of XP for it. Got a maple bow for that one. And let's sneak up to this guy, ready? Do 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 do